Hi there, just a quick video from us at McGill Motorsport uh, to talk about our sealing boots that fit onto our rod ends. Um, handy little sealing boots these, uh, they just do a good job of keeping the dust and the dirt um, out of the ball of your rod end and protecting it, um, ultimately giving you some better performance, more durability and uh, yeah, just preventing wear within the rod end really. So. Um, we have various sizes of these sealing boots, uh, which we stock here at McGill Motorsport. And uh, we also have a huge range of sizes of rod end. Um, so, in order to find which size of sealing boot you require uh, for your rod end, the best thing to refer, refer to is this table, uh, which is in all the adverts for our sealing boots on our website, mcgillmotorsport.com. And what we're going to do, demonstrate today is uh, how to fit the, these rod ends to the sealing boots and um, which size should fit onto each and just give you some uh, handy techniques and uh, help out because we know it's sometimes difficult and frustrating to get these to fit on um, but it really is worthwhile once it's uh, done. So <clears throat> we have our smallest size of sealing boot here, uh, product code SEAB1, C1 and it fits onto a variation of sizes. So as you can see from the table, it fits everything from M5 to M8 and from 3 16 right through to 5 16 and everything in between. Um, next size up is the, is the Seep 2 sealing boot and it fits onto these joints here. So that's everything from M10 to M14 and from 3 8 up to half inch. Next size up for us is the Seep uh, 3.3 and it fits onto our 5 8 joint as you can see from the table there and it also on the metric side it fits onto M16 and M18 joints as well which we will demonstrate in a few moments. The C3.6 is the next size up, it's the second biggest of our range uh, it fits onto a 3 quarters or a 7 8 on the imperial sizes and it fits onto an M20 or M22 um, on the metric side. And lastly, we have the C4, which is the largest sealing boot we offer, which is really only required for a one inch joint, um, which is really quite a big joint and larger than most would need. So uh, we have a huge variation of, of rod ends at McGill Motorsport. Um, we have various different specs from economy through to aircraft grade. Um, the, the range we're using here today is just the XM series Dimensionally, these joints are all the same, so it's okay to just stick to one range for the purposes of the video. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll start off with the C1 sealing boot and we'll select the, the largest size of, of the range that it fits, uh, which is going to be an M8 joint. And we're going to demonstrate the easiest way to, to fit that. So, so a couple of tools you need really is the a, a cable tie really and um, WD-40 also helps a little. So what to do with the cable tie, stick it in through either hole on, on either side of the rod end, link it in and uh, then spray a little bit of WD-40 in through the bottom hole and then uh, we'll start fitting the rod end on. So take the rod end and stick it through uh, the side hole of the boot, either side hole will work and then down through the bottom hole and then uh, pull it up to the top of the threads to the head of the rose joint. Then use your cable tie as a bit of leverage to uh, stretch it over. Um, it may not necessarily be straight once you've stretched over and you just straighten it up at the end. It's nice and slidey as it's been lubricated. Snap the cable tie off and you have it fitted there. So that's your C1 fitted to the M8 joint nice and tightly. Um, next size up C2, we're just going to fit this to an M14 joint as it's got the largest head of these. It's larger than a half inch. So uh, again, we'll do the same technique, put a cable tie in through each side hole, link it in, click it on a couple of clicks, a little bit of WD-40 in through the bottom. Take your rod end and slide it in through the side hole, trying to hold your cable tie out of the road. Once it's in through the side hole, down through the bottom hole. And you can then pull it up to the top of the threads. Use your, your cable tie to stretch it over. So really pull the cable tie over the back and uh, stretch it over. So that's your C2 fitted onto an M14 uh, joint. We'll just also demonstrate this on a half inch joint as well, um, just to show that it works for imperial sizes also. So uh, there is a, a C2 
and uh, we're just going to repeat the whole process again but um, it's just to demonstrate to the customers who are using our imperial sizes this does does actually fit you know it's sometimes a bit difficult to fit it but it's best to be persistent and you'll end up with a better product if you use a, the correct size of boot and um, if you'd opted to go for a larger size uh, you will find that it will be a bit loose and ultimately won't protect the joint as well uh, as the smaller size would. Um, I'll move up to C3.3 now. The largest of these three joints is, a, is an M18 and so we're just going to use that as it would be most, most difficult to fit. And we'll use the same technique once again, um, linking it a few clicks on, a bit of WD-40 in through the bottom hole, take your rod end uh, stick the threaded section of the rod end in through the side hole of the boot then once it's into the side hole down through the bottom of the boot use the cable tie to pull it up the threads then use the cable tie to stretch it over once it's over straighten it all up so everything's aligned snip the cable tie and yeah great nice tight uh, fit on that nice finished product there so we move on to the seam 3.6 and we'll use a 7 8 joint for the purposes of this, as it's the biggest of those four joints we have here. Cable tie in, through side holes, click it on one click, bit of WD-40. Just to get started with the joint. <clears throat> in through the side hole once again, and then through the bottom hole in the boot. Pull up the threads, use the cable tie's leverage, stretch it over. Once it's over, try and straighten it up. Then once it's all aligned and you're happy, just snip the cable tie and obviously see where it snips. The last, well, is a seed four. Um, we'll demonstrate this, I suppose it's a definitely a challenging one and uh, may take a bit longer, but definitely is, uh, is worthwhile spending a little bit of time on uh, just to get it right. Uh, so this is certainly a tight fit, but once it's tight, it does the best job of just keeping dirt and dust out, out of the, uh, the spherical part of your joint or the ball of your joint. Just protecting it, just making sure nothing gets in there that's going to wear it down. And uh, it's really useful if you're, if you're using it on a shale surface or if you're using it off-road applications or maybe maybe farming like you would a size, a size of joint like this. Um, as you can see, it's just you just need to keep pulling it until it pops over and then straighten it all up and then uh, take your take your cable tie and snip it out uh, so I'm almost there with this one I expected it's a little bit more challenging to take a little bit more time so you can find all these sealing boots on our website at mcgillmotorsport.com you can purchase them there um, if you purchase them we'll send them out the same day you've ordered the same working day assuming you've ordered before 2 p.m uh, all these joints are obviously available on our website as well and uh, if, you, if you're unsure on which joint you need for your application feel free just to uh, contact us by phone, email um, our phone number is 01592 and we can talk you through what, uh, what joints are you know, options for your application and you know, once we know a bit more about what you're using them on we can maybe help you out with finding uh, which sizes you might need and, and uh, just helping you out. We've got extensive knowledge on these rod ends. We've been selling them for many, many years. And uh, like I say, there's many different specs from, from an economy spec to high misalignment spec. And uh, metric, we have bronze lined, Teflon lined. And then on Imperial, we've got the ultra high performance spec, which is what you see here. These joints are um, chrome moly, and they've got a PTFE uh, liner inside them. And then there's one spec above these, which is the aircraft spec as well. So. Yeah, as I say, you just have a look on our website, mcgillmotorsport.com and uh, you'll find all our rod ends on there. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to get in touch if you need anything at all. Thanks very much for your time and uh, we hope you enjoyed the video.